what should you teach a preschooler? When I think of kids in that age range, like three to five years, I think of teaching them their colors, the ABCs, how to count, how to say please and thank you. What I don't usually think of is to teach them science. And that's shocking for several reasons to me. One, because I obviously love science. I think it's incredibly important for kids to understand it. And two, because I know that kids that age have the capacity to start learning about science. I thought of all this recently when I read a study showing that preschool teachers in the United States are vastly unprepared to teach kids science. 99% of teachers surveyed taught literacy three or four times per week, compared to 75% for math and only 42% for science. Amazingly, how educated a teacher was didn't actually correlate with whether or not they spent time teaching science. What did seem to determine that was the teacher's self-reported comfort levels with each subject. Teachers who had a high self-efficacy rating in science were more likely to teach science in the classroom. Those with low self-efficacy were much less likely. The researchers report other reasons for low interest in teaching science, like the fact that preschool teachers don't get training uh, in their training programs where they emphasize science. Uh, Also, kindergarten preparedness tests don't emphasize it either. So with limited time, more teachers will focus on literacy. But self-efficacy in the subjects definitely seemed to be a motivating factor, which is why I was surprised not to see any mention of gender in the entire report. 97% of preschool teachers in the United States are women, and we know for a fact that women do worse on math and science tests when they're reminded that they're women and that women are supposed to not be good at those subjects. In other words, women have lower self-efficacy in those fields, even if they have the education and the talent that put them equal to men. Thanks to the research in this area, we know that women are dissuaded from pursuing science uh, and mathematics careers. But here's another example of how our society, our society's sexism negatively impacts everyone. When women aren't confident in their abilities in science and math, they're less likely to teach science and math to the next generation. And considering that our society has demanded that women be the ones who do the early education teaching, we've really shot ourselves in the proverbial foot. Considering that by fourth grade, only about 38% of American children are proficient in science, and that number drops to 22% by the time they graduate high school, We really need to realize how important it is to start kids early with a healthy interest in science. One way to do that is, of course, to make sure that preschool teachers are trained in the importance of science. But this study shows us that another thing we can do is to do away with old, tired, sexist standards. We need more women realizing that they are perfectly capable of understanding and enjoying math and science. And we need more men realizing that they are capable of teaching young children. If we can manage that, then maybe all children can grow up knowing that they're capable of anything they can put their minds to.